Welcome back to Incibles, everyone. So I'm going to go up to you guys in the S&P 500 again. This is the SPY. As you guys can see, we had an exact bounce above our 400 level that we mentioned from yesterday, mentioning that the better play would be to look to see if we can get a bounce off of our 400 level. But playing to the downside, like I said, I would be looking for that possible bounce on our 50 day moving average. Again, this is a strong support that we would also be possibly testing if we came down and we did test. So we will see if we do bounce off of our 400 level. As you guys can see, exactly bouncing above our 400 level all the way up to 405 on the day. Are we going to continue on below 400? here or are we going to continue on above 405 on a possible continuation on this gap up that we had on our gap down i'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here guys now before i jump into this all i ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that i mention every single day throughout the week so let's jump into this one So again, jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the SPY, as you guys can see, we are getting that inverted hammer here. Our question is, are we going to continue on with buyers getting rejected to the upside or are we going to get a rejection to the downside since we are testing our 400 hour level? In my opinion, we are getting a lot of sell pressure because of that pullback at the end of the day. And the reason why, as you guys can see, actually on the five minute chart, we had a head and shoulder play that did play to the downside. So that was a pattern breakout to the downside. Um, we didn't necessarily create lower lows on the day yet. We still can create higher lows. Our watch tomorrow would be to look to see if we can create higher lows if not if we do drop down below 400 then we can assume a continuation on lower if in my opinion we do get down below 398 398 is a very strong level as well we do have that range between 398 and 400 that i would be looking to see if we can hold but if we do continue on below that like i said we could have a continuation on lower so that is the level again 398 to the downside is what i'll be looking for if i was playing to the downside so what needs to happen here since we did get a head and shoulder here is to break above the upper end of our head and shoulder here at 405.82 if we can't break them into 406 then we we can be looking for that possible gap up here on our 0.832 Fibonacci line here. And that, again, that would be our 412 level. So again, if we do continue on above 405 up to 406, if we continue on higher with pressure. We can assume a gap up up to about 410, 412. Now jumping back to the daily chart, if we are looking for that confirmation on a continuation on this bounce, we want to see a decrease in sell pressure to the downside. We want to see a continuation on white shitty lines coming out here. As you guys can see, we have a solid red bar here showing us that we are continuing with sell pressure. So we want to see that white shaded line as we saw previously when we did get that bounce and we did have that continuation on higher. And again, that three week rally that we actually had because our EMI lines did cross above the media room MACD. We got that decrease in sell pressure, had that increase in buy pressure in conversion of that decrease in buy pressure. And we did have that continuation on higher. So we do have our EMI lines still above the media room MACD. We're looking to see if we can cross above with our 12 over our 26 to see if we can get that possible decrease in sell pressure to the downside. So we can again, get that bounce. Now, in my opinion, if if we do not get that decrease in sell pressure, we could continue on lower here again on a possible bear flag that a lot of people would argue for just because we had such a gap down. We had so much pressure to the downside. And since Powell again did mention that there is a possibility of no Fed pivot. So our question really is from here, are we going to continue on lower with a lot of correction that we had from a gap up on a three week rally on an assumption that we may have had a Fed pivot. And so our question is, are we going to continue on lower on this correction from this rally that we have? Are we going to cool down here? We're going to see exactly what happens. But again, we do have our levels again looking to see if we can jump back over 406 with that increase in buy pressure on the five minute chart and then looking at the daily chart looking to see if we are going to continue on below again 398 but again a lot of resistances to the downside as you guys can see we do have more room to the upside if we are increasing our fibonacci lines over to the lower side here and as you guys can see we would have more room to the upside than we would have to the downside if we did drop down below our 50 degree average and below 397 so again we have a lot of supports that we could be bouncing off of and again that would be resistances if you're playing to the downside but bouncing off of our 50 degree average is what we're going to stay focused on for a possible move up and if we do not get that possible move up again like i said we will be looking for that confirmation on that continuation on lower we have a lot of fed speaking this week so there's a lot that could happen now again with that said if you guys are day traders or you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts very volatile breakouts for example like we mentioned today with avct it was a higher risk play that we mentioned from 22 cents jumping up all the way up over it jumped up exactly up to 50 cents, got rejected over 100% on that breakout and also had a major breakout at CFBI, a speculative SPAC play. That was a nice breakout today from $10.50, broke into new highs, broke over $10.70, jumped up all up to about $11.80, probably still continuing now. I didn't even look at it since then. And then we also had a nice bounce play with BBBY. I'm going to go over BBY in the next video if you guys do want to see exactly how that played out. Again, if you do want to see all these breakouts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout with the day again. And again, all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel we're going to continue to go at it stay patient take what the market gives us again a very volatile market today but we still had very nice breakouts today i actually was surprised with 
how many breakouts there were throughout the day. Non-stop, they just continued to come, and especially with ABCT, just continuing on higher throughout the whole day just was just crazy. So very good day today. Hope you guys did enjoy today. Um, again, getting a move to the downside, looking to see if we can bounce off of our 50. More room to the upside than we do to the downside. I would be looking for a setup to the upside, but again, if we do continue on lower, we'll take what the market gives us. If it does give us that confirmation to the downside. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in pre-market.